Aerial bombing is an illusion, not a fact. So what you have in front of you is a, I believe, B-17 in World War II hoax dropping bombs. Now there's a lot of questions that need to be asked, okay? Like, if bomb number one has been dropped and this airplane, the B-17, is traveling at, let's say, 300 miles per hour, how does bomb number two get in direct line with bomb number one, let alone bomb number three, bomb number four, bomb number five, and bomb number six? Now that's interesting that they chose six for this photograph. So that's a good question. How do they drop in a straight line? If that thing is traveling at 250 or 300 miles an hour or whatever, I don't know the exact speed, but how can they possibly drop in a straight line? Some other questions. Can these planes really take off if they're loaded down with 8,000 pounds of bombs or 3,000 pounds of bombs? Can they even take off from the ground? That's a good question to ask. There are plenty more questions to ask, but I'm just going to come right out and say it. Aerial bombing is an illusion created by the illusion makers. Well, here's another question to ask. <laughs> if they're so close like that, why? Why haven't they exploded <laughs> on contact? It looks like those two are so close. And if they're designed to drop down with the head pointing down, why are they all in parallel? Well, I suppose you have some questions too. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the thesis. Aerial bombing is just an illusion. Here's another question. Why hasn't this plane gone backwards? Because if you have a large amount of weight being dispersed or dropped, this plane should go, the nose should go up that way good question. Why would we see no evidence of that in this photograph or even in this, the so-called films of bombing? We see no evidence of any kind of action-reaction. Law of physics. Drop thousands of pounds, there should be some type of reaction of the plane. Unless, of course, it's all just an illusion. Well, I'll have more to say about it, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.